<laughs> There's something afoot in my greenhouse. I'm not quite sure where it is. There's something munching on the tomatoes. I've spotted it. I've tried to deal with it. And then I got a bit freaked out by it. The evidence is fairly clear to see. There's poop on the leaves. So what we've got are uh, a thing called tomato hornworms and they're just, they're caterpillars, but for goodness sakes, I can't find them. They are, they are so well camouflaged. When I looked up online, to my horror, it says they can grow up to about four inches long. Well, a caterpillar at four inches long is gonna decimate my tomato crop. Well, any caterpillar that can grow to four inches long is gonna just decimate my tomato crop. and. Uh, I'm not so keen on that because I want my tomatoes. So I've just spotted um, a tiny one. Well, it's not that tiny, but it's quite small. So up there in the metal bit of the greenhouse, perhaps you can see just a little green dash. So that's one of them. And I've already picked three off uh, plants at the other end. And I'll just have to keep going and see how many more I can find. So these are the three that I picked off earlier on. And as you can see, well, the brown one is easier to spot, but the two green ones are, well, they're really difficult to see against the leaves. And, uh, and they're quite sneaky about, <laughs> about where they, they rest. I don't usually get squeamish about uh, bugs in the garden, but these caterpillars, oh, there's just something about them I don't really like very much. So, uh, so I'm having to pick them <laughs> off using my secateurs. And I'm trying to keep them intact because uh, online we've just read that apparently chickens really like them. So I'm going to take them over to the chickens now and see what they think. Now the chickens are always fairly sure when I'm appearing with something for them. And uh, here you go girl. Let's see what you make of that. Is there anything there that you like? Oh, yeah, she's got it straight away. She seemed to like that. Go and have a look for the others. There's two more down there. Can you see it? Good girl. And there's one more. You got it? She's got it. Look at that. Well, there we go. Apparently they are... Oh, she was just surprised by Elvis. Oh, they're going to argue over them. So, obviously, they are good for chickens. Well, that's the result. If, uh, if the chickens like them, at least I have a way of disposing of them that I know means that <laughs> the chickens are getting a little bit of protein and, uh, and I'm definitely getting rid of the caterpillars. So, time to find some more. But spotting them, well, that's a really difficult task. And really the only way I can do it is to have a look and see where, where there are little piles of caterpillar poop. And there's some, there's some on the shelf there, which would imply that there are caterpillars up here somewhere. I don't know why I'm whispering. They're not... <laughs> <laughs> they're not going to uh, to notice me moving around them well it looks like I'm going to be in the greenhouse for some time yet trying to spot caterpillars that are the same color as the tomato plants wish me luck aha there's one and um, <laughs> it's one of the brown ones I don't know whether that's difference in male or female or whether that's how mature they are what they've been eating who knows but uh, there's one and I need to go and grab my secateurs to pick it off there because I'm being too squeamish to pick them up in my hands and the other thing I've spotted back there is not a caterpillar but it is where is it it's a snail 
and I don't need that either. But snails, yeah, I can pick those up. And this won't go to waste either because that's going over to the uh, to the duck enclosure. Now I realise this isn't the best light for videoing in, but uh, it's what we've got this morning and it's sunshine, so I'm really not complaining about it. Uh, Mrs. Warren is particularly partial uh, to a snail. So I will, uh, I'll bung this over to her now and see if she manages to get it rather than one of the others. Mrs. Warren! Oh, go on, darling, you get it. Oh, good girl. Well, that will make her a happy girl. She does like a snail. And apart from ducks being brilliant for their eggs and their meat, they are superb garden cleaner uppers. And um, in the autumn, I'm going to let them go through the food forest and pick up any slugs and snails that they can find and any other grubs that they uh, that they want. And then once I've secured the uh, the winter crops in their beds so that the ducks can't get at them, uh, then I'll let them go through the, win the uh, garden as well, the annual vegetable garden, and uh, and then they can they can pick out any any slugs and snails and grubs and all of those things from uh, the pathways and the beds here in the annual vegetable garden. While I was in the greenhouse, I hadn't realised how how warm the sunshine had got out here, and it's you know there's still there's a nip in the air today. Um, and although it's August, it, it feels, actually it feels much more like the end of September. Um, so it's got that, that nippiness to the air and that dampness that comes in autumn. Uh, but oh, lovely sunshine too, which is well, blinding because it's so bright, but uh, it is just, it's just so welcome. While I'm at this end of the garden, I thought I'd give you a quick update on the uh, the little fatties, the meat birds, that oh, they're so well settled in there. They're, they're active, they're happy, they're running around, they've got, we've got wing flapping and they're foraging and they just, they look happy and healthy. Now that plastic sheeting that you can see next to their house there, I've put up as wind protection because the wind goes in that direction so it means that they can be on the other side of it and be sheltered but yeah these are these are not unhappy chickens so all those reservations I had about having meat birds and yeah I keep changing my mind and I keep thinking you know they're happy and healthy and you know what more could you want for a chicken well I think while I'm at this end of the garden and uh and feeding the, the ducks the snail. Um, I'm going to just gather in the run of beans for today's harvest and get so I can get those into the freezer. Uh, and then I'm going to spend the day, well, pottering in the garden. So wherever you are today and whatever you've got planned, I hope it's a good one for you. And I also hope that you can join me again tomorrow.